Yo, what's up? We're here at Raising Cane's. Let's find out. Is the hype real on this place? Let's go try it. Alrighty, all nice right. location. Very huh? nice in here. This is my first time stepping in here. You see they got the classic Raising Cane's bursting from the wall, which is a classic thing that they do at every Raising Cane's, as well as the disco balls. It's pretty cool that they're keeping it up here, too. So we got kicked out of that restaurant before we could even get started in there But we got our meal and that's what we're here for is the meal itself So we're in the Tesla we're gonna eat it in here, and we really don't have much napkins So yeah. let's hope we don't make it too big of a mess here get one of just oh f Come on, dude we might even steal the tray. Uh, honestly, why not? You know, yeah. they, they kicked us out when we were trying to do good for this place. So I think it's only right. Let's take a full look at these things. Man, they look good. This is like the first ever chicken finger restaurant. And it's pretty incredible that they doing it right. They're really doing it right. It looks Insane. good. I will say this place is probably one of the best looking platters that you can get in comparison to everywhere else comes with that thick old texas toast that you know they lather oh, with butter man i am ready for that oh. texas toast they when they were creating these meals they really wanted to go very simple on the sides because it's all about the chicken fingers so that what they did is they just accompanied it with some toast some fries and some coleslaw that's all they have when it comes to sides of this place everything else chicken fingers oh looks so good we also paid five extra dollars for a whole cup full of their sauce which I think was 100% worth it, because when you want to dunk, you want to dunk. You don't want to just splatter. Hey, yeah. So summer's finally here. You guys know me, I love the vintage wear. That's always what I'm repping, vintage tees. Well, I wanted to bring the surfer vibes back. Life's a beach, I'm just playing in the sand. Pick up some merch, brandontaylor.com. Fastest shipping you'll ever see. Let's get into this, let's take a bite of this for what it really is. I'm going for full dunker. I think you should come in here too, Jake. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for half dip. I've never been here, so I, I don't know what exactly. I expect, you know? This is a full on chicken finger restaurant. I'm excited. Here we go. Mmm. Oh my God, that sauce is so good. Mmm my what God. What the hell is in that? I tried looking up the recipe. It's like Worcestershire and ketchup and mayo. And mayo. And Pepper. But it says that only the general managers of the stores actually know the recipe for this sauce. Man, buying it in a 22 ounce cup is the way to go. I, I, I mean, how are they only going to give you this? I almost used the whole thing for one piece of chicken. That's what I'm saying. It has a good crispiness and a juicy, but and there's no seasoning to it. I don't, I don't know. know. I'm tasting the seasoning. Let's taste just the chicken for what it is. I think it has seasoning in the breading, but the chicken itself may not be seasoned. No, I don't think it would be. Like, just the breading is a little bit flavored. The sauce really does it for this restaurant. It really you, takes yeah. it to the next level. You have to use this sauce. This sauce is indescribable. Mm. It really is indescribable. Mm. It's creamy. It's a little bit tangy. It's got, like, maybe, like, a tiny bit of, like, spiciness to it, but not really. I think it's all the pepper that they put in yeah, it. Yeah, maybe that's all, all it is. But really, if you come here and did not eat the sauce, you're not even, like, there's no point. Don't even come, because no. the chicken's great. It's good. But the sauce is where we go next level. Mm. They have these cool little zigzag fries. I don't even know what they're called. They have a light, little bit of salt. It's probably an in-between of an In-N-Out and a McDonald's fry. M McDonald's being the craziest, In-N-Out being nothing. And if you guys remember, back in the day, we did a Mr. Beast video, and these are the same fries that Mr. Beast had. The only issue with Mr. Beast fries is they tasted like they were soggy microwave fries. Yeah, like they were previously frozen. Here, they got a nice little snap to each one. They taste like they were actually deep fried and they're not just from a microwave. I'm not a huge coleslaw person, but if you smell this, it smells like it just came out of like the ground. Really? It smells so fresh. They also didn't give us any forks or spoons, so we're just gonna tongue it. Mmm. Tastes mm. so fresh. There is a hack with the bread, right? Like you're supposed to do something with it? Supposedly, you can ask for another another slice of it or slice it in half and make a sandwich. So let's just rip it in half and we'll put a chicken in the inside. Let's try this hack out. And it's just chicken? I mean, you could throw some fries in there too, why not? No one ever made any rules. This is the little tip and tricks that they learn from the interwebs. Like anything, Jake, we're gonna go for it. Dipped. Dipped. Oh my, oh god. my god. I don't know if that like makes me like happy about it or that like, kind of like hurts my like, <laughs> Let's stomach. go for it. 
Mmm. Oh, the bread. Amazing. Oh my god. So fluffy. Wow. Now I can see why the line is getting so big at Raising Cane's. This place hits. It's 11 a.m. in the morning and there's already a like 15 car line. Wow. Okay, it, as the sandwich, it just takes it to the next level. You get the, the, the softness of the dough. Just teeth just sink through it. Mm. It's fluffy, it's delicious, but it's also a little crispy. It's got the nice buttery, buttery taste to it. Man, this is amazing. I can see this place having me back. I was talking to a security guard outside that's holding up the line and getting everyone in safely. He said that he opened one up in Torrance and it was a two mile line that waited two hours. People wow. were waiting two hours. Do you think this place is so good that you would wait two hours or would you, would, or would you wait just like a month and then come when there's no line? I mean, <laughs> I don't know, man, because this place has been here for about a month now almost and the line is still so enormous. I think I would be down to wait in this line though. This is insane. This is probably the best chicken I've ever had. <laughs> ever had and I don't, I don't like Chick-fil-A. I don't like any of those places, but this, mm, they're bread. Wow. You need to get the whole combo. Don't just come for just the chicken or just the fries, just the coleslaw. Get it all. Mm. Did you know there's a fan club of this and they're called the Caniacs. I might have to submit my dues and join them. I didn't think a place could be so good for fast food. Mm. Every bite is a new adventure. I will say though, I didn't even take a dent out of this cup. Maybe I took four or five ounces out of it. Mm, you gotta be a room. maniac to keep eating like this. Take a drink of it. Hell no, you take a drink of it. I don't know. That would hurt me. Mmm, that's so good. What's on your mind right now as you're eating this? I'm trying to figure out how much sauce they have in the back to be offering it in they this. Make and there's it, a bigger size. I bet everyone orders this They're making this whole fucking thing. barrels of it. Yeah. Because it's for five bucks, you get the adventure of dunking your food in there. It makes it just that much better. Mmm. Wow. What do you rate this place? Fucking 11. Yeah. <laughs> this is next level. Compared to every other chicken place I've ever had. Let me tell you, the hype that surrounds Raising Cane's is definitely well worth it. They earned that respect because, man, this is probably some of the best fast food I've ever had. Each plate is only 10 bucks for four pieces of chicken fingers on there. Can't beat it. Great price, great taste, great location. I'm honestly stuffed. I'm stuffed too. Do you have any more chicken though? Cause no. fuck, I wanted a leftover. So clearly we demolished everything we ate and I think it's time, Jake, you gotta do your part of this video. Oh, I gotta go mess up a toilet. Get on in there, man. Let's do it. And this is Jake's bathroom review. First off, for being a restaurant, only opened a month ago. It's really clean. Overfilled already, they just opened. I mean, there's... It is what it is. A little baby station next to here, so if someone's peeing and changing their baby doesn't really work. But it's a small app. It is what it is. I'm falling for the girl next door. Been through hell and back, that's why she don't get attached. I'm falling for the girl next door. I'm falling for the girl next door. Everybody 